Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to new vlog. We've got a good one for you today because it's starting out at 1.35 a.m. And I am now just pulling up to Ben's house, um, AKA Shed Crazy. And we are gearing up for our first shed hunt of the year together. I did one shed trip with Matt already. If you guys saw my last vlog, hopefully, you saw that I did pretty good. Me and Matt did really well. And now Shed Crazy and I are going out to see if we can duplicate it. Um, hopefully he's awake and hopefully he's got a gas station somewhere close by because we are running on empty. Dude, what is it? It's a Shed Crazy. He's alive. What up, bro? Late nights. Every time. Bro, I'm already, already half asleep. So <laughs> we're gonna drive for like, what a long ways long ways we still all got right. a long ways to go we got the cooler we're even halfway i know it's sad we're not even halfway and i just got to ben's house hey guys welcome to the hills or i should say the river bottom uh ben and i made a long long drive through the night and got to our destination um i think at 11 a.m today and then we started hitting the hills and I had high hopes for this spot, but I got my butt kicked. I didn't find any sheds. It sounds like Ben has found some old stuff, but he just barely, barely, barely called and said that he glassed up some white. So there could be two. He's uh, confident with one of them. So Ben will be coming down the trail any moment. We'll see what he's got. But for now, I'm just hanging out, eating mango slices, getting rest. Like I need to sleep and re-energize and I need to make up for a slow day today and, and really kill it tomorrow. So anyways, so that's what's up on the vlog. Just wanted to catch up. I'll let you guys know when Ben gets here. Check it out. Here's the find of the day. <laughs> ben found like six or seven sheds total. And this is the only one he packed off the mountain, a brown deer shed. I haven't found one of those at all this year myself. So that's a keeper. We've got... Uh, we're cooking dinner on the stove. Got some cheesy dogs going on on tortillas. Yeah, it's getting toasty. I burned myself a little bit on camera. Tipped it over on camera too. This is out of control right now. Yeah, we'll get some of this. You still sell this hoodie? No, I might actually run it again on like... The donut hoodie. I love this, but it didn't really sell that good. So thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Oh, too hot. Dude, yeah, that's got to be hot. Oh, Cheesy, though. Mm. Double cheese. I like it. Cheddar brat. Mine's a smoke brat. No cheddar, but we got cheddar on the tortilla, so here we go. Well, today was bummer. I found nothing. Said crazy found one keeper out of all the seven he found, six or seven. So on a new stuff tomorrow, I'll just kind of keep the vlog popping up here and there when I, whenever I think about pulling it out. I just uh, been filming it on my phone. So, trying to keep the the uh, channel going with these daily vlogs. Alright guys, we decided to pull out the camera and uh, hit the wide angle so we could film a little bit about what we're talking about because conversations like this happen all the time uh, between Ben and I, Matt and I, and like, I don't know, people that I'm driving with all the time. It's like, we need to have a podcast set up, at least an audio version of some of our uh, truck drives, like our truck discussions. So we figured, why not try it? So if you guys enjoy this little section or not, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll, it's basically gonna be a little test sample on my Eric Chester vlog. So we were talking how yesterday, um, I kind of observed and thought it was funny that at the truck, we Ben and I kind of had two different motivation levels. And Ben will be the first to say like, at the truck, he seems to struggle sometimes of like, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't want to like, to, to get started is always where I lack motivation, right? Like to take that first step up the trailhead. So we had rolled in, we had driven all night, we hadn't slept and I was like, dude, I think I'm just gonna sleep for a while <laughs> so that I can get actually like motivated, go hike and get energized, you know? But he was like, nah, dude, let's just go up and crush it. Let's just get going. And once we get hiking, we'll get motivated and stuff. And he's like, you can have a nap when you find a shed. And I'm like, all right, dude, I'll make that deal, let's go. Yeah, my, my motivation is like literally at the truck. I'm so excited to just get out there and get boots on the ground. Just because I always have this idea like you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to, um, you know, what, like you're going to find something and you never know when. So why not go find out? And 
we got up on the hill and man I was beat like Ben said we had that long drive and the, there was tracks but I don't know I just kind of I lost my motivation as we got on the mountain and as that shifted so did Ben's Ben's like went crazy and it just every time we talk on the radio he's like dude there's a big brown setup here somewhere we know we got to find it and he just started gritting like he was started grinding and I started napping <laughs> like opposite effects so it is kind of funny how your mind and your motivation levels can change throughout the day when you do stuff like hunting or shed hunting um, in new, newer areas I can I can let my negative thoughts like take over in areas I'm confident in that I've been to I seem to allow myself to just kind of have that like never give up attitude yeah. because I know they're there and I've been there and I've experienced that but this last area we went was kind of new to us both and uh, I just I just noticed that I totally went downhill while Ben switched gears and with that guess who found the sheds <laughs> well ben. a lot of it for me too is just like I see once I get to that zone and once I'm up there I don't want to waste the work that I put in like when I'm at the truck I was like oh, I haven't put in any effort yet so if I just nap now it's not like you know I'm not giving anything up really but like once you're on the hill and once you've been you're a few miles in and you're at the top of a big steep ridge like man I had to work hard to get here I don't want to let this slip and then I start seeing things like all oh, tracks sign and that just ups my motivation level because you know you're in the zone so it's just I mean I've always been like that I've always had the hardest time starting big projects or starting things like I'll have good ideas and I want to do things but I let it lapse because I don't want to start once I get into them I feel like I'm able to maintain and keep going but just different for different people you know Eric's yeah. a good starter I like that about Eric is he'll just like have an idea like I noticed that with like your dog chew company and some other things it's like I have this idea and like you talk about it and as soon as you're ready to pull the trigger it's like boom let's go where I would have talked I'd still be talking about it like, I'm gonna do that four years later I'd be like I'm still gonna do that I'm still gonna do it yeah that's true man and, and kind of like when as you were explaining that I kind of connect with the lack of maintaining something really good at taking action having a vision and taking those first steps and then I do kind of tear off when it comes to just like the daily maintenance that could even be like keeping up my truck keeping up my kitchen um, laundry like business everything so I'm gonna try to improve on that like make small daily like changes to uh, create good habits and that that also can be that can go for like shed hunting in general and stuff too so anyways a little motivation talk from shed crazy and I truck talk Ec episode one is out let me know what you guys thought Dude, we got the goods. I put the mashed potatoes out for you. Go get them. Go get them. <laughs> Chad Mendez, mashed potatoes on the rocks. <laughs> I've been this close to wild ones. Dude, me either. How cool is that? Go feed them, bro. Nobody cares. They're for you. Get some. Ooh, little bite, little bite. <laughs> it wants it, but it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> but on its face, look. <laughs> Dude, it's how did it get a, such a chunk? Oh, you got a phone? It, yeah. Chad Mendez, Peak Refuel. Peak Refuel, Chad Mendez Mashers. Just hang out and eat them, bro. You're cool. Nobody cares. Dude, scarf them. What's up, guys? Uh, and uh, good morning. We slept out here in the dirt, which was a horrible idea because... It was so dang windy that I would wake up from just getting sandblasted by that dirt right there. So pros and cons to a tent. Pros to a tent is it blocks the wind. Cons is in the wind. It's super loud and it's hard to sleep anyways. Um, pros to sleeping without a tent. You don't have to carry it. And it's not as loud. But the cons is when you got dust right next to you and it's that windy you get sandblasted. So I woke up multiple times from getting sandblasted, but we're at shed camp. Just want to give you guys an update. We've got six sheds to camp so far from yesterday and we have a full day to do it today. The sun just barely came up. So let me give you a look at what we got here at camp and then we're just going to close this vlog out and I'll start a new one. That's Ben right there. 
sleeping in the camas cutter. <laughs> Staying warm. Five more minutes, Mom. Five more minutes. Shoot, man. It was so windy last night, guys. All right, guys. Here's what made it to camp. I had, let's see, five. So my busted up white set, a smaller busted up white set got all really broke up in here and then that little tiny brown and ben stumbled on a side-by-side -side set that was pretty boss other than the fact that they're a little old but look at this tank giant fronts great mass good beam lengths and more than anything just like the perfect perfect shape so that's what we have at camp so far but we have a full day to do it today so i think we can double that well, guys, like I said, wanted to keep these um, vlogs going. And the best way I've found for me to do that is just to do it on my cell phone. Edit it and upload it um, from my cell phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you bounce over to Shed Crazy's channel and Hush. We're both going to be uploading um, these shed hunting videos on those channels soon. And thanks for watching this little daily vlog. We'll see you on the next one.